Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to 272win.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'm your highly illustrious, highly perfected President Ross with 272win.com. We are going to fill in a beautiful election map according to their results as you can see at the top of the screen. Democrats should have that much and Republicans should have that much, but we're going to fill in the map and figure out the averages and who will win. Let's fill it in starting now. Washington State with 12 electoral votes, these are all according to 272win.com, has Kamala Harris winning blue. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes swaps red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, not Utaho, with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Uh, Nevada, according to 271.com, Nevada is two clicks pink. For Donald J. Trump, it leans heavily Republican. It's been flipping back and forth between blue and red, but now it's currently pink. It leans toward Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is a battleground toss-up state. It is gray, according to 270to-win.com. It will not be colored in. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. New Mexico with five electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And according to 271.com, the second district of Nebraska is two clicks blue for for Kamala Harris instead of dark blue like other polling has it. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump. I will explain why Texas is pink when we get to Florida. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is, according to 271.com, two clicks blue. For Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, other websites and polling have Minnesota as deep blue, as in it's a lock-in for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, but 271.com has it light blue, which means it's slowly shifting to Donald J. Trump and Republicans, but it probably will not turn red this election cycle unless it's a shocker, eye-opening experience and Republicans turn out in mass and vote Republican and Donald J. Trump in in Minnesota. It is going to likely stay blue for this 2024 election. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes and Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to 271.com, Wisconsin and Michigan are both gray. Neither of them will be colored in. They are battleground states. Michigan is a big one that Donald J. Trump needs to win. It's one of his two pathways to victory, according to uh, 271.com. But we will move on now that they are not colored in. They are toss-ups too close to call. Iowa with six electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. It is shifting. It was dark red on other um, polling websites and other map websites. And for this one, 271.com, it is light pink. It has been heavy red, but 271.com currently has it. As of October 22nd, 2024, Iowa is two clicks pink. It's shifting. It could shift back to dark red. It could shift to light blue. Who knows? And the next few election cycles. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we have half of the map filled in. Currently, the statistics are showing Democrats, Kamala Harris, and Timothy Walls with 104 electoral votes. Republicans, Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance with 117 electoral votes with half the map filled in. Let's see how it changes as we move on. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is... Blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walsh. She takes the lead now. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. He gains the lead back. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is, according to 271.com, two clicks pink 
for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hillbilly Eulogy. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. He gets a massive lead now. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home Alabama, cousin lover state with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes according to 272win.com. Florida is two clicks light pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Now I'm going to explain why Texas with 40 electoral votes and Florida with 30 electoral votes are light pink. I have to explain this to people who still say that they are both heavy red. No, they are not. Um... They are light pink because people from New York and California are moving to Texas and Florida and voting for Democrats, the Democrats that they escaped from in New York and California, and they're shifting their states to pink, and then eventually they're going to be toss-ups like Arizona. They're going to be gray where anyone could win, and then it's going to shift from that point in the next 12 years or 16 years. It's going to shift either blue or back to red. They're going to be battleground states. Once again, Florida was a battleground state for a long time. Georgia, according to 271.com, Georgia and its 16 electoral votes are gray. They will not be colored in. It's a toss-up state. The race is too close to call in Georgia for who will win the state. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to 271.com, North Carolina is gray. It is too close to call. It will not be colored in blue or red. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, according to 271.com, Virginia is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. It was in the early stages of this 2024 election, heavy blue for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but now the love fest is over and it is shifting, but it will probably stay blue for the 2024 election cycle unless we have a shocking eye opener and Republicans come out in mass and vote heavily. Pennsylvania, according to 271.com, Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes are not colored in because it is too close to call which candidate will win Pennsylvania. Donald J. Trump needs Pennsylvania in order to secure the election win. If he does not win Pennsylvania, he needs Michigan and Wisconsin. But Kamala Harris also needs Pennsylvania in order to secure her win in the 2024 election. We do not endorse either candidate at this time. We need to know more about them. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, M-E at large, the very top one, is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine itself with M-E is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. But the first district of Maine on this map is red for Donald J. Trump. That makes, <laughs> that makes no sense to me. I've not seen this on any other map. Uh, the rest of the states hit blue. We got... New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. This currently puts Kamala Harris at 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 223 electoral votes, making Kamala Harris the slight victor in this election. But it is also believed that Donald J. Trump will win Arizona and Michigan, with Pennsylvania being a toss-up, North Carolina, he's slated to win due to his um, reaction to the Hurricanes, and he's slated to win Georgia as well, according to RealClearPolling.com. That would give Donald J. Trump a mega lead, a mega win over Kamala Harris. But according to 271.com, October 22, 2024, Kamala Harris is the winner without the current toss-up states in the mix. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. In.